we're going to go through the parts of the respiratory system that you're responsible for on this in this uh, lab. Uh, we're going to start with the sagittal head model. Uh, this is the sinuses. See sinuses here. There's also sinus there. These are the. This is the whole nasal cavity. These are the nasal conchi. You got one, two, and three of them. You've got the external nares, also known as nostrils, and obviously here is the nose. This is the pharynx, as you've learned before and this is the larynx which we'll look at in more detail. So again sinuses here and here, nasal conchi here, external nares, pharynx, and larynx. Looking at the larynx up close, this is the posterior view, this is the anterior view. From the anterior view you see the thyroid cartilage here, you see the trachea, and then you see the C-rings of the trachea, and here you see the epiglottis. Looking at the posterior view, you see the epiglottis here. This opening that would exist between these two vocal folds is called the glottis. And then you have the vocal folds on each side. The epiglottis is going to cover the glottis when you swallow. So the food is forced down the esophagus. So again, this is the larynx. You have the epiglottis, the thyroid cartilage. You have the trachea here and you have the C-rings. Here you have the glottis, the opening, you have the epiglottis, you have the and the vocal folds. So that is the larynx. Looking now, getting more detailed, here you have the larynx represented here by 15 and 16. You have the trachea, you have the C-rings along the trachea, you have the bronchus, and then you'll see the bronchus is going to branch and keep branching on the left and right side, remembering that the right lung has three lobes and the left lung has two lobes and then when you keep branching you get down to the smallest uh, little tubes where air goes this is the bronchial and these are alveoli where diffusion is going to take place so again you have the larynx you have the trachea the trachea with the c-rings the bronchus you're going to continue to branch 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 and branch just a reminder the right lung has three lobes the left lung has two lobes then you get down to the bronchial and down to the alveoli where diffusion is going to take place. So again, just review that and make sure you take the practice test.